Was bleibt bitte? Herzlich willkommen auf 999 Sit. Lasst gerne ein Abo da, lasst ein Like da und viel Spaß mit dem Video. Bahamas, Vacation, Schweine, Urlaub, Vlogs. Ich brauch Sports, Digga. Sports. Nassau. Best places Bahamas. Nassau. Top 10 places to visit in Nassau. Ja, das ist es. Weil unsere Insel heißt Nassau, ne? Wir sind nicht auf anderen Inseln, wir sind auch nur auf Nassau. All places shown in the video are. On the northeast coast of New Providence Island, the city of Nassau is one of the most popular cruise ships. Digga, wie krass. Sieht so ein scheiß Kreuzfahrtschiff aus. Was ist denn das? Ist eine Kartbahn? Das ist eine Wasserrutsche, Digga? Digga, was ist da oben alles drauf? Junge. New Providence Island. The city of Nassau is one of the most popular cruise ship ports in the Caribbean. Rechts war hijacked. Das hier sieht ein bisschen aus wie hijacked. Nassau is one of the most popular cruise ship ports in the Caribbean. It's also the capital and commercial hub of the Bahamas. Number one Atlantis Paradise Island. Ja, das ist die eins Attraktion und das ist unser Hotel, Leute. Das ist unser Hotel. Atlantis, ja. a luxury hotel, aquarium, water park and entertainment complex is one of the top ja. attractions in the Bahamas. Ah! In zehn Tagen, Leute. In zehn Tagen. Oh yes, Digga. The Atlantis Resort Designers have gone to great... Ja, das war sehr teuer, aber dafür haben wir auch so richtig geilen Urlaub. Coco ist nur noch zwei Tage oder ein Tag, glaube ich, in Nassau jetzt. Äh... Oh. Also es ist Hijacked. Hijacked ist eine Map von COD, die mit dem Boot. Die hat irgendwo ein Edward. Äh, Edward. Ein Airbnb hat sie. Mit Kalle, Rohrt und die Kennerfliege. Die vier, die vier. Das ist unsere Traumkonstellation eigentlich. Letztes Mal konnte ich Kennerfliege ja nicht. Despite all the resorts okay. lining this iconic stretch of coastline, Cable Beach still manages to conjure the feel of a classic Caribbean beach. Soft white sand stretches to turquoise. Jetzt schreibt mal alle Namen rein. Ja, der Urlaub war ursprünglich geplant von mir und Eli, aber Eli kann nicht wegen Kap verbreiten. Bla bla bla, Termine, bla bla. Water and sun loungers Was? beckon along the shore, making this one of the top places to visit in Nassau. Number three, Paradise Island. Formerly called Hog Island, Paradise Island is a tourist hotspot. It's home to the massive Atlantis Resort, as well as numerous other hotels, private homes, gorgeous beaches, and a golf course. No golf wonder Platz. cruise ship visitors make a beeline for this buzzing hub. Number 4 Blue Lagoon Island. Also known as Salt Cay, Blue Boah. Lagoon Island is one of the most popular things to do in Nassau on a cruise. This fun-packed private island lies about 5 kilometers from Nassau. Der, wie komme ich darüber? Muss ich denn von Nassau darüber schwimmen oder was? Äh, Ma 2 K.O. Danke für den fünften, Leute. Auf Lock. Dankeschön für fünf Monate. This fun-packed private island lies about 5 kilometers from Nassau and offers so. a range of water sports as well as close-up encounters with dolphins and sea lions. Number 5 are Dastra Gardens and Wildlife Conservation Stark Center. Up. Best known as the home of the marching flamingos, the Ardastra Gardens and Wildlife Conservation Center is set on four acres of tropical gardens. The flamingos entertain visitors by marching in formation to commands. Mm, Number six, coach. Nassau Straw Market. After the decline of the sponging industry in the mid-1940s, Bahamian women began braiding and weaving the leaves, <gasps> mismo, palm trees, and sisal plants into baskets and fishing traps as a way to boost their income. Today, this tradition continues at the straw market in Nassau. Number 7 Clifton Heritage National Park Clifton National Heritage Park? National okay, Park cool. offers a little something for everyone, history, culture, natural beauty, and tranquility. Take a guided Zeit tour along the trails and soak up some glaub, in Nassau gibt's keine Schweine, ne? history. Learn about the Lokaians, the Loyalists, and the Africans, three important cultures that make the Bahamas such a fascinating destination, and explore the remnants of villages, plantations, and slave quarters. Number eight pirates of Nassau. Sagt, ist cool, aber ist aber safe, cool, ja? Mal gucken. Though a little light on historical exhibits. 
Pirates of Nassau Museum is a wonderful way for museum. children to learn more about Nassau's seafaring days. Visitors to the museum can explore a replica of the pirate ship Revenge and the shanty town of Nassau, see pirate paraphernalia, and interact with theatrical pirate hosts. This is an attraction, a pirate museum. Exhibits also cover Guck the mal, richtige Sachen, die man machen kann. Guck schon gerade. Number 9 National Art Gallery of the Bahamas. Housed in the lovingly restored Hotel mit Flug pro Nase. Hm, so. So 3, 4,000 für 4 Tage. Villa Doyle, a large historic neoclassical mansion. Und nur der Hinflug. The National Art Gallery. Mit Rückflug wäre das so 5, 6. Gallery of the Bahamas. Man kann auch nur, wenn man will, kann man auch nur für die Flüge schon, wenn man gute Flüge nimmt, wenn man Business Class Flüge nimmt, dann kosten die Flüge schon 3000, 3000, dann bist du bei 6 für dich. Und Hotel kommt oben drauf. Is the most important art institution in the country. The oldest section, looking toward the harbor to the north, was built in the 1860s Digga, by William Henry Dorff. Digga, was für ein Museum, Digga? Ich will, ich will die Natur sehen. Cut by slaves ja. into solid limestone in the late 18th century, the 66 steps known as the Queen's Staircase gave troops protected access to Fort Fincastle. More than a century aus. later, the staircase was named to honor Queen Victoria. Nur vier Tage und dann Jetlag passt es denn? Ne, wir bleiben ja noch länger. Wir werden ja nach Bahamas noch weitergehen. Nach, wir wissen ja noch nicht wohin. Deswegen will ich mir kurz ein paar Videos angucken. Ein paar alte Vlogs. New York und so ein Shit, damit ich weiß, wo wir hingehen. Und, oder, wir werden sowieso spontan entscheiden. Her role in abolishing slavery in the Bahamas. Hope you like this video for more. input how to survive nine free things to do in Nassau swim with pigs yeah ja, wo Was ist denn jetzt los? enough with the pigs now this country is not and oddly enough, the capital Nassau belongs to one of the smaller ones. New Providence, which is the official name, is the island where most tourists end up, either by plane or cruise ship. Anyways, there are roughly keep in mind. Nassau, or most commonly downtown, is where all the ships come in and where most of the shops and a lot of the restaurants are concentrated. The Cable Beach area okay. is... Okay, we're here. Wir sind hier auf dieser Insel. Cable Beach, okay, das soll auch gut sein. Auch ein guter Strand. A long stretch of world class white sand beaches. Most of them publicly available. Paradise Island is the place you probably can't afford to stay yourself, but where you can go and be amazed over how much money some people are willing to spend just to keep up with appearances and take advantage of the amazing stretch of beach open for everyone. And boy, is this place expensive! Chances are pretty good you will never see another place Mr. this freaking expensive in your whole life. So, welcome to the land where the regular snorkeling trip costs $200 and you pay 7.5 for a pack of yogurt. How the hell do you survive? 5 Minuten Taxi, 13 Dollar. Hey. All right, so we just came here to the Bahamas, and with me I have my dad, still pimping it, Glenn Hussein, and my brother, who doesn't have a nickname yet. According to the Bahamian laws of public access, most beaches pretty much belong to everyone, meaning you're allowed to. Beaches and free. Will transport yourself back Go by. Nassau is a small bus, place, man for the most yeah, just in taxi. Nassau offers a stay in the Bahamas are not no healthy for your wallet. Ah, warte. Hotels on the Bahamas are not healthy for your wallet. This is Luckily, hotel. Nassau offers a perfect option. Yeah. The Instagram friendly Baja Sea Hostel has a top notch location in the Cable Beach Was? area with the beach literally outside your window. Sure, a bed might cost a bit more than the regular hostel, but mm. you're still getting away cheap. They got the cool. Me. The cool. Ach, Scheiße. And if you're lucky, you might get some fun company. <gasps> 
trays. Nidika. Yourself. It's the perfect day trip. Though you can't afford staying in Paradise Island okay. yourself. Okay. Okay. Doesn't feel. Although you can't afford staying at Paradise Island Couldn't yourself, it's Couldn't the be. perfect day trip destination. Ride the local bus to downtown and switch for a four-dollar public taxi boat. Ach, wir müssen mit so einem Taxiboot rüberfahren auf unsere Insel. Lol. Lul. Wir müssen ja mit Gepäck und sowas darüber. Okay, Maximus, danke für 22 Monate. Aber das, ich glaube, das wird so ein geiles Feeling sein. Ich stehe heute noch an, wir gucken ein bisschen Videos an. Ich glaube, das wird so ein geiles Feeling sein, wenn man gleich so rüber fährt und guckt und das Hotel da sieht da drüben, Digga. Das sieht so geil aus, bestimmt. Guck das hier. Well over there, follow signs for the public pathway to the beach. Brothers. Or take a shortcut right through. Charlene, Charles, Joseph Brothers, Return to Paradise. Achso, ich dachte, hier gibt es einen Club. Im Atlantis. Okay, da sind also Auftritte. Or take a shortcut right through the super fancy Atlantis Towers Hotel. Jetzt bin ich mal gespannt, wie es da aussieht. When done at the beach, make sure it's late afternoon and get your free access to the Atlantis Gardens and Aquarium. So dieses Wahnsinns, da sind Rochen drin. Giving you some up and close experience with these majestic oh, creatures of the ocean. And congratulate yourself Coole with Musik. the fact that a full day so richtige Ariel Musik, hey, wie cool ist der Tunnel? Pass to the Atlantis normally costs around $160. Ein Segenrochen. Nein! Das war ein Hai, oder? It's not like Nassau with its downtown area is overflowing with cool historical sites. But there are a few of them that is overflowing with okay. cool historical sites. But there are a few of them worth noting, offering a few hours of diversion in total. The Queen's Staircase cool. is probably the most famous one. Haben. It was built. Ja, ja. The Queen Staircase. Hier, hier darf ich dann so darunter gerade, dann wird dann ein Bild geschossen. Ja, Kalle. Ah, ja, sorry. Mein Job. It was built by slaves a good 200 years back. Named to honor Queen Victoria's Mach da kein Bild, das wurde von Sklaven gebaut. But even still, it's, uh, it's just a staircase. Man fährt, man fährt dahin, um einfach nur eine Treppe zu sehen. Staircase lies Fort Fincastle, your second must see in this short hike. Don't expect too much though. Mm, sieht dweck aus. So Daddy, what's your impression of uh, the Eine schlechte Burg. The, the trap sucks and the trees. That's was okay. So it sucked and was okay. Yes. Back down the staircase and towards the main street you will find the straw market. A good place to buy relatively cheap vacation stuff. Although the inventory is kind of limited. Another short and free excursion is checking out how the rich folks live in a Venice-like environment in a newly built gated community sandy port in the Cable Beach area. I don't even want to know what an apartment is. Staying at a hostel also comes with an encouragement. Enjoy a fish if you want someone else to prepare your food for you, head so to the Arawa Cay or in common tongue. Fish. Here, we're just going to so hold here. Conch salad, make a tropical salad. To enjoy some delicious fish, cook the Bahamian way mm. for a decent price. Fish. It's right next to Jankanoo Beach, just outside of downtown. Clubs, we don't want to go there. We're just going to sit in the hotel, so by the water park. Atlantis hier. Hier seht ihr mal. Hey guys. Das ist unser Hotel. Welcome back to our channel where we stingrays so swim around. Riesig, Digga. Like they swim around in like schools Boah. too. So got this like um kind of like indi map indicator Delfine? where things are. I'll just kind of point out where we are here. This is the flying fish statue um, where we started the video here and showed the royal baths. We're right here and we're gonna walk down this little walkway here and into Aquaventure to show you some of the cool um, pools, the slides. 
some of the bigger slides over here and then wrap around into um, some of the cool stuff over there. And we're going to end on the uh, Cove Beach over here because that's one of our favorite spots here at Atlantis to hang out. Okay. So let's go check it out. So turning around here and heading down the path. So the eigene Insel is this for Visionär. Actually something new they did installed here is this, this uh, heart swing here, which is a cool little spot to take a picture cool. with like your partner. Okay, that's And then just uh, beyond that, there's <laughs> another slide called the Challenger slide and one other one called and the quiet pool area. There's there. And then you can see like there's actually just you the have some like pre-wrapped food there, sandwiches and salads. But to the left, you can actually see the aquarium or a different aquarium here that we haven't seen yet. Yes. And if we look inside here, you'll see the, um, so you can see the serpent slide. Das and then the face slide is just beyond there. Ach, and then you can see like, there's actually like sharks swimming around in here. So if you're going through the slide, especially this one that goes a little bit slower. Ach so, yeah, there's so Reifen and then it's so a ganze things. So a ganze Runde im Park. You can see the sharks as you're going down the slide. I'll tell you one thing, you definitely don't see the sharks when you're going down the leap of faith because the water splashes in the face so much. And look at this little fish here looking at us. So just behind us was the nah, he said, alle team, uh, Tierschützer. Um, leap of faith. This is the entrance to go up to any of the slides right here. So just up there would be where to get to the slides. And just in front of us here is the Mayan temple pool. This is where some of the other slides come out right here. And it's definitely a lot more noisy here at this pool. Um, there's just a lot more people running around. Um, some kids running around as well too. So if you want a bit more quiet, definitely the Royal Bath is where it's at. There's some food offerings around the uh, pool as well. So one of the food offerings is Shark Bites Bar and Grill. And then over here, there's a zero entry card as well. That's what it's called. Here's a closer look at Shark Bites over here. Pull up a lawn chair and relax. Refill your I can kind of see the river just kind of uh, Aquaventure Park, so it's no screaming. Ding, I spoil it on the other side, I spoil it on the full. I'm going to see away, but see some of them see all the. Just... Hello. Man comes there an. Oh my god. And there oben is so an off. <laughs> so an off in the hole. So here's the. Bei nicht spoilern, da gibt's nichts zu machen und das Beispiel. Ja, okay, schon. Okay, wir gehen zu Wort. So. Wir müssen, wir erkunden das, das ganze Zeug lieber selber. So. Die Frage wird sein, ob wir, äh, also wir sind dann vier Tage dort. Oder fünf oder so. Und wir werden dann noch am vierten wegfliegen. Und können fünf Tage oder vier Nächte noch in New York bleiben, in Orlando, in LA. Wir haben dann das gebucht, wir können gucken. Vielleicht habt ihr eine Idee, wo wir hingehen können oder was ihr sehen wollt. Äh, werden wir dann sehen. Deswegen gucken wir. Ich, es wird eine harte Entscheidung. In Miami wird es wahrscheinlich nicht sein. Orlando hätte ich Bock wegen Universal Studios und Disney Studios. Disneyland. Ähm, LA ist ein bisschen wieder weit weg leider. Also es wäre dann wieder so ein relativ weiter weg, wo man eigentlich sein muss. Chicago ist wack. Also ich war schon mal in Chicago. Oh, sieben Dank für den 26. mein Freund. Wer kommt alles mit? Rot, ich kenne Kalle. Mm. Ja, New York ist eigentlich cool. Leute, das war's mit dem Video. Lasst ein Abo oder lasst ein Like da nochmal. Checkt den ersten Kanal ab. Links in der Videobeschreibung. Und wir sehen uns im nächsten Video. Uh! Ja, cool. Yes! Triple nine, you should call my phone.